Anyway, so I'm going to have another look in there. I'm going to take a tour around this big building. Look at where the top of the tree goes all the way until you see. Like, but yeah, right now I am going to take this elevator up to the top floor. Here's another brief history. This elevator was made in 1887. Oh, and good morning. It is 7.49 a.m. And for the first time in a while, I am up early enough on a Friday morning. That's because I have a session in 11 minutes. So last weekend, I was talking about this mushroom t-shirt, right? So that's the one. I got it at the end of the day yesterday after making three rounds at the store. Well, three rounds on separate days. First, we made it the first week of the month, the week that connected October to November. And then last week and yesterday at the end, we got it. And if you want to see, those are the mushroom types, all of these. So apparently there are 72 mushroom types. So we made it work. I canceled today's driving lesson because later in the day, me and my dad are gonna go to that hotel and spend the night there. It's something in which we have planned for the last seven weeks. We are gonna be going to a historical hotel. Wow, I really like these two there, by the way. So it is time for tacos. Although it is 12.21, check-in is not until four. So we'll leave the neighborhood at around 2 p.m. Just came in the restaurant and look at what they have here. A new recipe, the grilled cheese nacho fries. That's awesome. And that's it. No, I did not order the cheesy fries. I just ordered the nacho fries. So three tacos and nacho fries. But yeah, the grilled cheese nacho fries. I mean, it's quite different from how they make it in and out. Like in and out, they make it with a thick layer of cheese. And there, lol, that waiter just dropped my straw. But yeah, the blueberry frost drink as well. It's been like a month since I last drank a frosty drink. Wow. <laughs> it's almost like the color of the sky, you know? Great Lord, that drink is so freaking cold. But yeah, I just got out of Taco Bell. It was a nice taco lunch. And like that, I spent about 10 to 15 minutes playing going balls. And right now I am on level 103. That last level 102 was absolutely difficult. The first part of the level was okay, but then you just go from one block to another by passing some lines, you know, some rails, but they are pretty short rails indeed. So it doesn't connect from one block to another. So you're gonna, at one point, have to go from the left and go from the right and then head on to the other block. And then there's seesaws, where seesaw one goes up and down, where then seesaw two goes down and then up, so it faces different directions, and then you even have to get onto another seesaw. And then towards the end of the level, there's some trampolines, which you will really have to be slow. That's a very tough part too. Man, that is like a brain twister of a level. It took me tons of attempts to get through this. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so I'm just about to leave. And, uh, oh, prepared. oh, okay. Okay, so yeah, that's the bag right there. And it's just a handbag for me. Oh, okay, so three bags at the back seat of the Porsche. Just played a little bit more, and the only really difficult part of level 105 is when you get into this big purple cube and you just push it. You just have to push it really, really hard to get through the obstacle. Level 106, the only really difficult thing which made it seem like a brain puzzle and as hard to survive climbing Mount Everest is that there's almost no checkpoints. Like there's only like one or two checkpoints and then from a certain point of the level, you know, you get into this block that, you know, goes up and down. And then from that point, 
there's no checkpoint. For every checkpoint, you get one ball. And the thing is you have five lives. And if you fall down once, then you lose a life and you get to the checkpoint, you gain an extra life. And there we go. So time to start the journey to the hilltop. Yeah, that was kind of hard to take it out. So yeah, there was only one car in this garage, which was the Porsche. The BMW is not even there because my mom's at the gym. I'm going to make it to the gym tomorrow, despite it being the sit-up show day. All right, well, there are it again. So just put it on and it shows one hour and 18 minutes of driving to the hotel. So I expect it to be there at 320. Yeah, on this road, I just got a notification and shows heavy traffic. So now there's an hour and 48. So we will be there closer to the check-in time than what it said a minute ago. Wow, imagine this house at night, by the way. That will be like we won't get to see that tonight. <laughs> There's a plane that's about to make a landing. It is really, really close. It's an Alaskan airline right there. Okay, I don't know what the frigging hell is that for, but look, just a minute later, another plane. This time a United Airline. So that's two planes in one minute. And it's the third. Let's see what that is. Southwest. Okay, so. That's still from our area right there. We are in the southwest, lol. see they got mini cups here you see the cold cup all of these are ornaments by the way like you that you got one in platinum and red and much more like the realistic cup in starbucks yes all of these are ornaments interesting that up on this wall here they have all of the pets and it's really really just too odd that all of them are dogs so yeah will just take pictures of their pets but all of them are dogs oh wait a minute there's actually a cat so there's one two okay i do see two cats around this area and a rabbit i do see a rabbit here but more than 90 percent of these are dogs this is it 
just made it to the hotel and what an entrance what a view And there, we have finally made it to the room. How glorious. Well, you might notice this clock does say 3.19, but 3.19 a.m. indeed. Okay, well there's something certainly wrong with that clock. And I'll just get out to see what is out there. So, looks like that's where the pool area is. Goodness, it does kind of smell like seawater in this area, but if you want to see, then there we go. Here's the pool. Yeah. There's the room, and one other reason why I really like this room is because of that frame. You see, the guy is holding a lollipop in his hand, and a sunset scenery. That's glory. You can tell the gradient to the sky, by the way. You can see that color gradient, right? Crimson and gunmetal, and a sunset scenery. Love this picture. You can see all the lightings from up there too. Like, it's the holiday season. Anyway, so I'm gonna have another look in there. I'm gonna take a tour around this big building. I'm gonna take the elevator and see what's up there. This is a historic building. Okay, I was planning to take the elevator, but this is the point of the hotel that like everyone just gets in there. So I'm just gonna Take the stairs up and I'm gonna find a better place. Look at where the top of the tree goes all the way until you see. Like, this is not exactly the peak yet. Actually, I'm gonna go even one more floor up and I'm gonna catch the elevator from the third floor. Oh, before that though, I just wanna take an outside view of here with the tree and oh my goodness. What the heck is all that noise? the heck is all this banging okay well you know what i'm not even gonna bother going on that but see this is where you can get ice as well like geez this is freaking disturbing honestly all that banging but yeah right now i am going to take this elevator up to the top floor this is a historic hotel the construction of this building was completed way back in 1888. I'm talking 135 years of existence. This building has stood here in two world wars. And during times that people were struggling to contain sicknesses such as malaria, measles, polio, this hotel has stood there throughout really, really challenging times. Okay, there's the elevator. And looks like I'm gonna have this elevator to myself. So what I'll do is I'm going to press five. So I'm gonna go up to five. And here's another brief history. This elevator was made in 1887. This is just one year before a the construction of this hotel was completed. Now I am at the top floor. Yeah, I mean, even on this floor, it seems to be like a total bug, like banging and crybabies and all that. That's really, really weird. This is where it starts to get a little bit more narrow. And, oh, okay. Not even gonna bother, but right here is all the way at the top. Like, that's just the rooftop of the building. Anyway, guys, so I'm gonna put it to an end for today's vlog. It's been an amazing day. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I'm really hoping that you enjoyed. I'll see you tomorrow.